Okay. So now they're basically asking you, what is the radius? Well, guys, there's only one formula. I'm not going that crazy with the formulas. There's only one formula you use. S equals R times theta. S represents the, the arc length. They tell you what the arc length is, 7 centimeters. We don't know what the radius is. And then they do give us theta. But what do they give us theta in again? Degrees. Stupid. Right? Why don't they just give us it in radians? So I need to multiply by 180. However, since you did all your homework, you should hopefully should be a little bit familiar with this. So you get pi is going to be divided by 2, so that's going to be 5 ninths. Does everybody see how I simplified that? No. OK, yeah, well, 100 pi over 180. The zeros, those divide out. And then 10 over 18 reduces to 5 over 9. Okay. okay? So then I just multiply this by 5 pi over 9. Well, we need to solve for r, right? So how do you, if r is being multiplied by 5 pi over 9, you need to undo that by dividing. But we really don't like dividing fractions. Instead of dividing fractions, we prefer to multiply by the reciprocal. reciprocal. So I'm going to multiply by 9 over 5 pi. Because any fraction multiplies by reciprocal multiplies to 1. Then I do the same thing over here. So therefore, my final answer is going to be r is equal to, um, that's 63 over 5 pi. So I multiply the 9 times the 7. And then, if, that, if they're asking for an exact answer, that's what my exact answer would be. If they're asking for what is the approximate answer, well, then I'm going to evaluate for pi. So OK. So I am getting, wait a minute, 63. I get 4.0, so the closest centimeter. Well, 5 times pi gave me 15.70. 63 divided by 15 is rounds around 4. OK? Does that make sense? Does everybody follow me? No? Yes? 